you are welcome to Day Tutor Academy where we feature free video tutorials to help you understand the fundamentals of mathematics and the science subjects. We have comprehensive solutions to numerous past questions from various exams including WAHEC, NECO, GCE, JAMBUTME, GED and IGCSE. These are aimed at preparing you to ace your exam with flying colors so that you can successfully build that great career you have always longed for. All you have to do is to just subscribe to Data Academy and turn on that notification bell so as to set yourself on a path to excellence. And with that, we can head over to our video for today, okay? The second, fourth and sixth terms of an arithmetic progression that is an AP are X minus 1 x plus 1 and 7 respectively. We are asked to find the common difference, the first term and the value of x. To solve this question, first we need to know the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic progression and that is given as tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. tn this is the nth term, a is the first term, n is the number of times and d is a common difference. So, looking at this question, we are told that the second, fourth and sixth terms are x minus 1, x plus 1 and 7 respectively. Respectively means that x minus 1 is the second term, okay? x plus 1 is the fourth term and 7 is the seventh term. So, if I just want to put that correctly, I'll say this is T2, okay, then this is T4, the fourth term, and then 7 is the sixth term, that is T6. So, having this information here, we can look at this formula and see how we can use this given information to find these questions that were asked, the common difference, the first term, and the value of X. Let's try and appropriately put that into this question so so if you are to consider the second term t2 which we are given to be x minus 1 we know that will be equal to a plus n n is 2 the number of times because you say it is the second term so that will be 2 minus 1 multiplied by d this is going to give us x minus 1 is equal to a 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 multiplied by d is d. So it is a plus d. We can note that as one of our equations, and in short, I'll call it equation 1. Okay? So for the fourth term, t4, what we are going to have is that we have been given the fourth term as x plus 1. So this is x plus 1 is equal to, using this formula again, we have a plus, now, n is 4 because we are looking at the fourth term so i'm going to have 4 minus 1 multiplied by d and if i simplify that that means x plus 1 is equal to a 4 minus 1 is 3 so i have plus 3 multiplied by d i can call this the second equation and then looking at the sixth term that is t6 that was given to be 7 so that 7 is equal to the system that is a plus n here is 6 minus 1 multiplied by the common difference and in this case i'm going to have 7 is equal to a plus 6 minus 1 is 5 so i have 5d and this is equation 3. now looking at these three equations we have three unknowns x okay a and d and we have to the equation so the equations are sufficient to solve perfectly this question by whatever method you want to use looking at these two looking at these three equations i would prefer to first use equations one and two here yeah, this equation one and equation two even to subtract them from one another because i'm seeing x here and i'm seeing x here so if i say let's say equation two minus equation 1 or conversely equation 1 minus equation 2 anyone i'm going to see that the x will be x minus x and i can be able to have only a and d and look at this third equation i only have a and d 
as unknown so i can easily solve for them and just move ahead with the question so what i'm going to say is let's say i have equation 2 minus equation 1 okay that will mean that on the left hand side i'm going to have x plus 1 that is equation 2 minus x minus 1 coming from equation 1 the left hand side i hope you understand that okay then that is equal to a plus 3d for equation 2 minus a plus d from equation 1 looking at this right hand side all right so if i'm to simplify this i will just have this to be this x minus x that will just knock themselves out that will be zero one minus minus one this minus and this minus will multiply each other to become plus so i'm going to have one plus one so this is going to give me one plus one is equal to here i'm going to have okay let me let me just even open up the bracket so let me just say this will be x plus one minus x then like i explained before this minus times this minus they become plus so i have plus one is equal to here a plus 3d and if i want to open this bracket this will be minus a and minus times plus will also be minus d all right so having this now i can see that x minus x here this x minus x of course that will give me zero then one plus one that will be two so i have two is equal to a minus a that will also be zero so that will also knock out and i'm left with 3d minus d 3d minus d will be 2d all right so to just forge ahead with the question i will just draw the board down a little bit So now I can say, looking at this question now, I can divide both sides by two. This two will cancel this two, this two will cancel this two, and one will be the result, meaning that D is equal to one. All right. Then, since I got D already, I can substitute. I can substitute D is equal to one in my equation three in equation three and this is equation three here yeah? okay this is equation three let me substitute the value of d into that so that i can get a so i can say that is seven is equal to a plus five multiplied by d but since d is one i can have one to be used there therefore seven is equal to a plus five and this means that a is 7 minus 5 so a is equal to 2 so i have d is 1 i have a is 2 then looking at either equation 1 or equation 2 okay any one of the two i can now substitute for a and d let me say using a is 2 and d is 1 in equation 2 i'm now going to have in equation 2 what i had initially was x plus 1 is equal to a plus 3d that's the initial equation that i have but now i want to try and substitute for a and d which i've already gotten so i can just say from here i can just say i have x plus one is equal to what's the value of a that is two what's the value of d that is one so i have three times one meaning that x plus one is equal to three times one is three plus two that is five and therefore x will be 5 minus 1 and 5 minus 1 is 4 all right so 
If you are to look critically, we've been able to answer the question that were asked, the common difference, the first term, and the value of x. All right? So, we can just, as a rule of thumb, you can just effectively write out your answers and say, the common difference, d, common difference, d is equal to 1, the first term okay the first term a is equal to 2 and the value of x is equal to 4 and with this we have answered this particular question correctly as requested So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit, of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire, that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.